for Welcome, David. welcome, welcome to Stampede Your Business. Stampede. 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 Stampede Your Business. Oh my gosh, we're so cheesy. I love it. I love it. This is episode <laughs> oh, well, number two. Yes, episode number Stampede two. Stampede your business. Stampede your business. We're a, a company. We created Stampede Digital Systems, and we're kind of going through this workflow. If you've listened to the other two episodes, you kind of know what we're going through here. We're learning from uh, learning from creating a business and going through all of the systems that we've created. That's right. And we're sharing with you our experiences. We've gone through the process of creating this business. Uh, along with that, we're following a, a, a process, a pattern. Process. A pa- pattern process. A, a pattern. A pattern. Patterns. And processes Patterns. and procedures, too. The, throw in are. a procedure there oh, for yeah. every once in a while. That gets exciting. Yeah, you can't have a business without some procedures. And all that, <laughs> <laughs> we... We get from uh, from a, a few really good books that we recommend. Absolutely. And you, you've heard the story or you haven't, and we're just going to move on. And if you haven't, you're going to go back and listen to the previous episodes. Exactly. Uh, the books that we're referring to tonight are Combining the E-Myth, uh, Build to Sell, and Profit First. Built to Sell, Profit First, and the E-Myth. That's right. So, and today we're, we're doing a lot on E-Myth because each piece and process... As we created this digital systems company, which uh, Stampede is what? What is Stampede? You're supposed to say it. What is Stampede Digital Systems? Oh my goodness, I'm like drawing a blank. Uh, he can't read lips at all. I can't. Business process. <laughs> Business process. We're a business development company. Yes, business that, development. Oh, there that's we go. what you're getting at. I yes. am like, what are you asking me? I don't know. Yes, okay. which is crazy because we're using the company to develop the business so we can be better at developing other people's businesses. And that's right. So uh, what are we talking about today? So today we, uh, we're, we're going to continue down that path of why am I in business in the first place? Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about planning your business so uh we've just, and how it entails with why you're doing this oh yeah because why is is a huge part we we want to spend a little bit extra time on on why because it really is the beginning of everything it is it's the beginning of everything you have nothing if you don't know your why true true and, and but i do want to and, and i know we like to to be philosophical and talk about really cool stuff and to, cool ideas but when it comes down to it, if you have a business, one of the core reasons you do a business, I mean, you may have it for, for passion, for the love of it, all that stuff. But the end goal or the end result is y- y- you do need to make money. Well, the difference between a business and a hobby, hobby. <laughs> is, is the income. Exactly. And if you are not making money, then all it is is a hobby. You can call it a business all you want, but it's just a hobby. And we talk about the, the whole point of starting a business is to is is for what we talked about this last week to Exit to strategy. create freedom oh. to to develop yourself to to have I'm running away to have you're more saying freedom and 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 that that exit <laughs> strategy is a huge part of it yeah you don't create freedom if you create a business that that owns you can't you. leave yes exactly absolutely and so you should have an exit strategy from the very beginning if you're already running it doesn't a business, mean you're gonna run away that no, doesn't no. mean you're thinking that I'm building something so I can get Get out of it. No, it's it's because that's when you have when other people want your business, that means it has value. That's right. So we're talking about the whole point of stamping your business is creating a business that has value. This is this is about creating a business, a million dollar business with just a pad and paper. And gets rid of paper. your job so you can own the company and run the company, not have a job. It allows you to step out of the job of running a business yes. too. Yes. So you can really own the company yes. and manage it. I was on an, another podcast and we were talking about there was one guy that was like a solopreneur and the other guy had a bunch of he had a he had a bunch of employees and stuff. Yeah. And I asked them the question, uh, how much money do you personally take home? And the funny thing was 
is both of them took home the same amount of money. Really? Yes. But the guy that ran the business that had employees and stuff, he goes, yeah, but I don't, he didn't work half as much as the other guy did. And he did a lot of other things, a lot of other projects, and he had the ability to run the business and not run himself into the ground. Yeah. So I thought it was very interesting. He, he didn't make a lot dream. more money. Yeah. But, but he also had a lot more freedom to go do because he, because he created his company correctly and didn't center it around himself. This is huge people. If you start with that and realize, because that's what happens to entrepreneurs. It that's is. what happens to so many business owners. They get caught up in, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. And all of a sudden they have this job that they hate. Mm -hmm. They might as well go work for somebody because their company doesn't have value without them. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if, if you're in the tech industry or yep. if you're building houses. Yep. If if you are your business, you can't step away. The you, you take a sick day and your business suffers. Yes. Yeah, you want to be able to go take vacation and not worry about it. I mean, I remember the first time I went down to Lake Powell and – if anybody that's familiar with Lake Powell, when you go out on the lake, it's this giant lake and these canyons and stuff and cell phones don't work. There is no technology when you get on the houseboat and you're out in this and we stay for a week. The first time I did that, I was so freaked out, man. I'm like, oh my gosh, my company is going to fail. I'm going to, it's going to fall to pieces. And because you're not there because I'm not there. And it was awesome. I, I come from the vacation, which I couldn't even enjoy because I was so freaked out and worried about stuff. And uh, I realized, you know what? I did a pretty good job of hiring really awesome people. Uh, and the company was fine and probably did better without me, truthfully. <laughs> that is the goal of every business owner, yes. isn't it? Yep. Oh, that's you awesome. Well, let's uh, let's get get on with our program a little bit tonight. We, we wanted to talk about um, why... Why are we in business in first place? And and the first standard of being in business. Again, if you're not making money, it's just a hobby. Hobby. It's just a hobby. Is it a business? Are you in business or not? Do you want to be in business or not? If, if you, you are in business or you want to be in business, you have to have this first standard. It's 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 the primary metric of every business owner. Moolah. And if you've been going to these entrepreneur groups and you've been sitting around and 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 you uh, still are not making any money, then it, it it's a hobby, and you should look at that. Yeah. If if there's no way of making money in the near future, it's a hobby. If you're okay with it being a hobby, that's okay. Right. But if you are not making revenue, if you are not selling something, a service or a, a widget, then it is a hobby. A lot of business owners, especially solopreneurs, really this is this is that point where where you really have to be honest with yourself because it's hard yeah. to look at your business honestly and say, "Am I making money or not?" This is this is this is that pain point where you say, "What am I doing here?" Yeah. Now we we've been through that with with some Stanley. some businesses of ours. Oh yeah, right. And and there there's a point where we got where you have to about stuff. There's a point where you have to say, is, is, is the passion worth it yeah. to keep going, mm -hmm. or do I need to be making money in order to keep going? Yeah. And, and that's a question you have to ask yourself. Yep. Is there money, and is that important to you? Well, that's the first standard. Second standard, an opportunity worth pursuing, which is very connected, I think, to the first one. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it something – and this is what I think is hilarious – People come up to me and they go, Bobby, Bobby, I've got this thing. Everybody needs this thing. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs this. It's perfect idea. It's, it's the, awesome. It's everybody needs it. And, and my question always is, yeah, but but does anybody want it? Because it doesn't matter if they need it. Oh, yeah. If they don't want it, you're not going to sell it. Doesn't matter if it's the coolest thing since sliced bread if nobody cares. That's right. Well, and, and how do you get people to care? I mean, maybe it is the coolest thing since sliced bread and nobody even knows what it is. Yeah. Because you you you're so engrossed. I've been there. I, I I've your been baby. so engrossed. You loved your in, little in, baby. Yeah, I I've loved it. I've I've created, <laughs> I built it, I and, and I knew everything about it except for what it was. 
I could explain how it worked. I could explain what it would do for you, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Oh, we've all been there. Is we've that a dog, a cat, a meetings. human? What oh, is that thing? We've all been there, and the guy's explaining this cool, and he's got so much passion, and he's, oh, it's this, it's this. And you're like, I don't have a clue what that guy's talking about. <laughs> we've all been there. Yeah, We've all been there. Is it worth pursuing, guys? Really look at that. I know we get excited about our ideas. I, I've had so many people come up to me and say, Bobby, this is the goal. And they have, they are so excited and they think they have just cured cancer. They are just so excited. And and I know it's it's unfortunately not going to go anywhere because nobody's going to want it. So let's talk about Stampede for a minute. Mm-hmm. When we when we were creating Stampede, we we started with this idea. We found we found this web development. Program, tool. This tool, this awesome build tool. All. Build Oh, build all. Build yeah, all. So awesome. And we decided to build a business around it. And one of us thought, because there was, there was a, a group of us as a, a mastermind group that kind of turned into a business. Mm-hmm. And one of us thought, this is a marketing company. And and sold this idea that this is a marketing company. And some of us were kind of thinking, well, isn't this more like a tech company? What 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 is this? We're we're, we're actually building websites, you guys. This is this technology. And and then when we actually sat down to figure out what this what this thing was, when we sat down to figure out what this thing was, where where our minds actually connected on the whole reason why we're in business and and what we can do with this, the the real value, the real value that we're adding. Mm -hmm. We're a business development company. Business development company, yep. We're we're developing businesses. We're teaching businesses how to... Because we've all been there. We've all been through and who they are and what they are. Yeah, and went through the failures. We've been through the failures. We know through trial and error what does and doesn't work. And that's what we know because we've been there. Yeah. And so we're we're excited to to move this forward. Stampede is growing uh rather quickly right now and we're we're excited to to see um where we land with this crazy thing. But one What's, thing that I wanna I wanna talk about or just mention really quickly in terms of what kind of business you're in, you may have a product. And our product, what, what's our product with Stampede? Our, our product Business is websites. We, oh, we create wow. websites, yeah. right? That's our product. But that's not what kind of business we're in. We're, we're, in a, we're a business development company. And, and you need to, when you're considering your business, when you're building your business around a product, your product still isn't necessarily your business. It could be. But most cases, nine, out of, nine times out of 10, it's not your business. Your business is what your product does for people. Right. It's what you are doing for other people through that product. Why do you even care about the product? Why should I care about the product as a customer? Yeah, love it. Who is my customer? That's a great question. Who is your customer? Who is your customer? Who is your customer? Why does that matter? Demographic, psychographic. People talk about that all the time. Why is that important? Demographics and psychographics are all about being able to find your customer. You know what? With that said, you remember, oh, you weren't at the event last, the the month before the event where we had the Facebook guy come uh, for the marketing event. Oh, yeah. No, for, we, we had We had this deal and... The, the gentleman was teaching us about Facebook and stuff, but he went over psychographics and demographics. And man, his whole company, they were doing $4 million in revenue. And his whole company, they sat down and they piece by piece found their avatars, found their people, which, which was a huge aha for me that an avatar, we've heard of that before. That's like a, a picture of the person that will want to buy your stuff is oh, yeah. not always necessarily the niche is not exactly the same, or it's a, it's a counterpart or a piece to the niche. So it, the avatar sometimes is even nichier than the niche. Oh, and I remember you you came and you you were so oh, excited, excited about that. You were talking. We he, we should do a whole segment on that. We should because he built his revenue from four million to eight million, and he says it's because we drilled down the avatar, doubled their revenue to eight million dollars by drilling down who the people were that that wanted their stuff. And I heard something from Gary V just here recently that he says I have never tried to convince anybody about anything I've tried to sell or anything. I always find the people that want what I have. 
And I don't know, for whatever reason, that just shook my feet for some reason. I don't know. Oh, that, yeah, anyway, that's, that's awesome. Finding your peeps is find, very oh, it's, important. It, it's, it's extremely important if you want to be in business. You got to find the people that are interested in what you do. Everybody wants to hold on to the everybody thing. And it's so sad. I see so many first time business But everybody owners. is such a huge opportunity. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's huge. It's everybody. You don't realize you can't market to everybody. You don't, you, you can't have the money to market to everybody. Well, and, and we, we live in a small city. How many people are there in, in Salt Lake? A million or something like that. A million or something like that. That's a small no, city. Yeah. Not- now, if 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 I'm only touching one percent of that million people a year, holy cow, that is still ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand people. Yeah. That's a huge, huge market. Yeah. For a single business. Absolutely. And as you continue to grow, you you expand your market, you expand your opportunities. Yes. All that grows. You got to let go of the every. You've got to. I've to had people. We'd sit there with them, down. and they would niche down and niche down, and 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 then we'd have this really good niche, this good avatar, and they're like, "Yeah, but but I, these people too. It's really good for these people too." And it's like, I didn't tell you to tell those people to screw off. <laughs> I, no, I, I didn't tell you that. No, you cannot help those people too. No, you just have a marketing tool to find the people that need or want, totally want what you have. That's right. So the other standards are: are where are you in business? Are you, are you local? Are you international? Regional? Uh, where are you in business? Do you care about retail, wholesale? And and here's my favorite one: your timeline. When will you be ready to hire employees to replace you? Mm-hmm. And when will you be ready to let those employees run your business? If, if you know your timeline, if you already have a timeline figured out, then you're, awesome. going to, you're going to force yourself to actually do the work to make that timeline come to, come to pass. So true. I love that. Yes. That, powerful. That's a powerful day when you realize that you've created something that some amazing people are doing things, changing other people's lives. So you've created something that can that can live on its own without you. Yeah. I mean, so powerful. Wow. That's when you've come into your own and that's when you're a real business owner. That is. That yep. that that really is. That's the yep. moment that you really are a business owner. Yep. Until then, you're just a you're just a business you a creator, job. you have a job yep. that you created for yourself. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So so true. So we want to so you want to take some time to plan your business. And and we we talked about hiring employees. How big should your business be? Uh-huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the next page, Bobby. Oh, cue oh, card. Yeah, that's right. Watch. We, yeah. The, yes. 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 What? What are we talking about now? Yeah. So how how business how big should your business be? Uh, sh- sh- are you are you going to have one employee, two employees, a hundred employees? How big is your business going to be? It's just going to be me. Oh, good luck. <laughs> uh, nobody does anything great alone. They no, just know there's never. a lot. Of, we we know there's a lot of solopreneurs out there, and there's even solopreneurs that that make pretty good money. You know, they call them lifestyle businesses, but it's never going to be something great. It's never going to be something huge that that's everlasting. You, you it won't have staying power to exist or change the world. Well, in lifestyle businesses, let, let's let's be honest here. Lifestyle businesses hire people to do the work for them. They do a, they they hire people to do a lot of the work for them. Even that, yeah, even that alone, they may be the sole the owner. Dude, four but, hour yeah. work week, right? Yeah, he he's he's got people all over the world doing work for him, right? And he talks about how do you hire those people? How do you figure it out? Right. So and so they don't even those that do great things they are not doing it alone. Nobody's doing it, not alone. doing it alone. No, nobody is successful in a box. Yeah. So you've got you've got to be prepared to facilitate this growth. Maybe maybe you're starting alone. Maybe you start alone. Maybe you've got a business partner that you're starting with. Who knows? But you've got to be prepared to facilitate growth. Whether that that means bring on a partner or bring on an employee. So, so how big is Stampede? Stampede right now we've. We've got uh, we've got what three owners, yep, and founders, founders, three founders, and um, twenty employees. If you count India, that's true. Yeah, 
We, we've got a team in India that's uh, that's working for us, and 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 then we have some design a designer, we've got a designer here, designer here that we're working directly sales, with a and lot. some sales guys. And we've got a couple of sales uh, guys. Yeah, it, you cannot create something great by yourself, and and we're just uh, starting out. Bobby. Yeah, we're just starting out, and the vision is. Um, yeah, we're going to do an, a million in revenue before the end of this year. That's right. Yeah. A million in revenue before, before the, the end, end of this year. year. And th- 2020, this is, folks. And, this and, is the year. And this is a bootstrap. We we put hardly any money into this thing. This is this is a very yeah. bootstrap. This is this has been a fun little experiment that and and I think sometimes some of the greatest things happen from fun little experiments. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Which is exactly why we're doing this podcast so that we can share the experience so that you guys can follow along and and <laughs> and see what we're what we're creating. Yeah, absolutely. Plan though. You do need to plan. Well, the mark of a good business is is planning. You you can't you can't be a big business. You can't be a powerful business. You can't do anything great unless you have a plan. What does plan look like? What does a plan look like? But Stampede, let's say Stampede, do we have a plan? Oh yeah. Oh, we got some metrics, oh, yeah. we, we, we got, got some goals plans, to hit. We got goals. We we started out with a plan by uh, our our first plan was was who's going to do what. <laughs> yeah, that took us about 6 months. <laughs> that, that that was pretty that was pretty brutal. <laughs> well, we 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 weeded through a few a few people <laughs> in the process. We, yes, we, we even tried bringing people on that were like, "Uh, I don't think so." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then and then they're like, "Uh, this was cool, but no, thank you." Yeah, yeah it, it, that that's been a, a it's been a good pro. But, but but seriously, we have sat down months and months in the planning stage. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it, we were we were a year before we ever had a something that was defined as a business. And keep in mind, this has been an experiment. Mm-hmm. It's more of an experiment. We we all have our own gigs. We all, I have several other companies, and this has just been a really interesting concept and and we're following these metrics and these steps. So you guys are following along with us. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll learn something from this and take it from there. Ask the right questions. What does that mean? Well, when you're, when you're planning, you've got, you've got to ask yourself the right questions. So well, where, where do I wish to be uh, planning? There's always, there has to be a, a, an X marks the spot. Mm. What am I working towards? What again? What's the whole point that I'm in business? That why is that pervasive everything that drives all of your planning? Mm-hmm. Until you're done planning, you're still in the why stage. And and you guys, with Stampede, we didn't sit down for six months and plan and do nothing. We right. weren't doing nothing the whole time. Right. You can't sit and plan forever. You, you've got you you've got to, to go take out some action. And test your ideas. You've got to try them out. And we we were constantly talking to to new potential clients. We we were we were actually working and with different clients team. and building stuff for clients yeah. even before we even knew what we were what doing. We were doing. <laughs> you guys know how to do this? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I think you you said something really interesting about the 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 map that has the X marks the spot. And when it comes to planning, if you had a map and you had like an X marks the spot and you're on this island and you're supposed to, st- supposed to, you're supposed to find the treasure. If this treasure is on this big island and there's an X somewhere, how do you get there? How, because if it's just an X and there's nothing else on the map, that's not going to help you. What it- do you have to have? If if you're if you're a big adventure of the rock, <laughs> in, in some TV show, you're probably just gonna go, go half yeah. haphazard yeah. after that X, and get lucky as you're fighting you know snakes and pits and right. and vines and things and. But most maps have steps. They say like go right. 400 yards this way to the skull rock. Turn left. These are all. Goal. If you have many goals, peace goals, this is what I say in business. If you have these small goals to get to the big goals, that's how you and, grow. And, and many, you get those many show hazards too. Yeah. Like, like this chasm. Are we going to try to cross the chasm or are we going to try to go around it? It's a hazard. 
So how are you going to handle the hazards in your business? Are you going to address them head on or are you going to try to go around them in some way? And, and, you, and you've got the option for both. I mean, uh, think about uh, the, the uh, hazard of marketing. Because really, I mean, marketing oh, is a hazard geez, yeah. in business, isn't it? Throw a lot of money at that. You puppy. throw a lot of money and you don't even know if it's going to work. Mm-hmm. It's a hazard. Yeah. And you could go straight You could go straight at it by throwing tons of money at it, or you can go around it by, by doing uh, you know, all, the, all the social networking and, and trying to do the, uh, the, one to, the one-on-one personal talk, talking to your friends and your friends give you leads and they give you leads. And, 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 and you can build a business that way too. And the the thing with that, I say, you know, if people are really engaged and you and and it's easy to sell, then you've got something. Yeah. If if you go out and you just start telling me, hey, I got this, and that's what happened with Builderall with me. I went to some network or not network. I went to some entrepreneur groups and I just mentioned, hey, I found this tool and it was cool. And all of a sudden, I had a a mastermind of five people in this group and we're sitting there talking about creating this stampede digital systems thing. And then we started doing that with with creating the websites we're, we're selling builder all yeah. and and we're, we're offering to create websites and people are saying hey i want i want part of this yeah and then when we came up with the with the sales site concept it people, all people got, got getting really excited yeah. and, and we mentioned sales site and everybody's ears perked up what's and they that? say hey what's that i want i, I want a piece that. of that you mean you want a website that actually sells your product or service and not just look pretty yes absolutely <laughs> So I want to know, uh, what is the entrepreneurial model? Brett, I want to know, what is the entrepreneurial model? Oh, the entrepreneurial model. Um, we're still asking questions. It's part, of, it's part of the planning process. And so questions that you, that you want to ask yourself, it's, it's not what are you going to do. It's about how are you going to do it. So, so you ask yourself, how is this going to happen? Because you already have an, a vision of what you're going to do. You wouldn't be interested in starting a business if you don't have a vision of what you're going to do. But the question is how are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? This is huge. This is most important. And, and, and every time that you're going through and, and, and setting these benchmarks, you got to write these things down. Because as you get thick into your business, you're going to forget this stuff and you need to be able to come back to it. But where, where are your opportunities? I like that one. Where's the opportunities? Because if you don't, everybody, you've said this a million times. I've heard this a million times in all entrepreneur world that you find a problem, you figure out how to fix that problem, and then you give it to people. That's how you create a company. Right. Opportunity. The opportunity is... Finding out how to fix something that people want fixed. And, and, and the key is, is not just finding a problem and finding a solution to that problem. It's finding a problem that people are willing to pay, pay for, for a solution. It. Yeah. And, and that's, that's where the opportunity is found. I always think of Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was such a big problem to suck I, your bo- booty. I had in. no idea, right? <laughs> I mean, I yeah. And all of a sudden, it's like <laughs> this is this is the way of the this is the way we go. This this is how we <laughs> yeah. do things. She she just blew it up and now is a billionaire. I just love that story because she just blew she it just up and tucked it. it in. Right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I just I, I just think that that she just was a, a, a an icon of how to just take something from nothing and have an idea and everybody tell her she's stupid and she blew it up and said ha ha. Yep. And she's still saying hi. Because she used the entrepreneur model. She saw an opportunity when everybody else didn't. That's right. And, and opportunities exist all around. Uh, some of those opportunities are more obvious than others. If you go for the obvious ones, you're probably going to have some competition. Yeah. And I love this one about the entrepreneur model. How will my business look to the customer? I love that. Because so often we get all in our head of our business. This is my business. Who wouldn't want this? This is the coolest thing ever. And we we look at it from our our beautiful baby's eyes. Oh, yeah. You know, nobody no baby's ugly to their mommy and daddy, right? And instead of standing back and taking a look at it from a customer's point of view or a potential's customer, if you take two minutes to really take yourself out of it. 
and say, if I was a potential customer, would I want this? And and I think I think sometimes it takes more than two minutes to really get yourself back. No, no, it just takes two minutes, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes is that aha moment. Yeah, that's right. It, it takes a long yeah. time to work your way <laughs> yeah. away from. Yeah, it takes like six months yeah, before, but then months. two minutes. But but I, I this is one th- here here's a here's a place I'd love to just throw in a quick plug for for Stampede mm-hmm. because. What this is, this is where Stampede is going to assist you in creating something awesome because we have the blueprint, the sales site blueprint, and that is the whole point of the sales site blueprint that we give away for free. That we give away for free. We did all of this work, figuring all this out, what worked, and we give it away for free. Why, why the heck did we give it away for free? Brent, Brett, Brent. I just, it's Brett, just I know, I know. for the audience, just so you know. Uh, yeah, so why do we give it away for free? Well, that's that's something that we'll definitely talk about in a whole other segment. But just a quick answer to that is because we want to create value for people. We're not in business to make money. We make money because we're in business. And we are in business to empower entrepreneurs. We want to give the good stuff away. Again, our, we're, we're a business development company. Our product is not the blueprint. Here's the, here's the catch, that's, though. That's what we offer. That's what we're giving. Oh, I got to tell the catch. There's a catch. There's a catch, Brett. Okay, fine. There's a catch. Okay. Here's the catch. Here's the thing. And this is every business should do this. We give them something of big value, and, value. and show them exactly how to do it. And that is super valuable. And there'll be a ton of people that could go out and create and do. A lot of business owners, me specifically included, I don't want to go learn some new thing because that's not my business. Yeah. But now I know you know what you're doing because you created this thing that has a lot of value. Now I would like you to do it. That's why we do this. It is a lead gen. It is legitimately a lead gen that has a lot of value that says, look, we know what we're doing. Now, if you don't want to do it yourself, go and do it yourself and and it will be awesome. Or let us do it for you. It's that simple. It is a lead gen, but it's a powerful tool is giving them information that's real, that's legit, that has value. The more value that you can give away for free, the more that your clientele is going to connect with you and appreciate you. And and the funny thing is, is is you give away something of value for free, people naturally want to give back. They they, they feel obligated to give back in some some cases. Yes. And so absolutely giving away huge value for free is, is a great way to start working your business. Now, uh, I love this one too. This next one, yeah. How will my business stand out from all the rest? When it comes to 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 Stampede, oh, uh, you know what's sad? I had this really cool thought, and now it's gone. It just left. <laughs> what's cool is with Stampede. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was so cool. How will my business stand out from all the rest? I thought, what does Stampede do? Oh, I know what it is now. So Stampede, how do we stand out? Because if you can find a way to stand out, then uh, you have a better chance of of people wanting to know, to know, like, and trust you and connect to you. Mm-hmm. With Stampede, we, we've we built this, this sales site blueprint that will show you how to make a website. Most web developers say, okay, we're going to develop it for you. We're going to do all this stuff. You just have to give us content. And the, and the, and the business owner's like, okay, so they, they figured, they try and figure it and they try and figure it out content. We actually give them the roadmap, the blueprint that they can just walk down Mm -hmm. and do the content. That's one of the hardest things for business owners is to give content to web developers. And we say, here, use it. And we've had, we've had clients. I've had clients personally tell me, Bobby, this was the coolest thing for my business. I sat down and did that blueprint, and it was amazing how I connected with our our potential customers. That's what makes us different. 
And you need to find that in all your, in, in whatever you're doing out there. What makes you different? What makes you relevant over other stuff? What makes you different? Yeah. What, what makes you stand out? How do you stand out from the rest? Because at first we were, we were just, we were floundering around. We're like, oh yeah, we're, we, we make, we make websites. websites. We'll make a website for you. Hey, let's, let's do this for you. We'll do whatever you want us to do. That's not the way to do business. No. Don't do whatever you want, <laughs> yeah. whatever the customer wants. You tell the customer what you around in circles. want them to want you to do. <laughs> exactly. And then they, they can do it or they don't. Well, I think we should wrap it up with it this with last, yeah. yes, with this la- that last and piece of the entrepreneurial model. The customer. The customer. The customer is everything. It's is you, it's not me. me. Why? Yeah. Uh, why the customer? Why, what does that mean? Start with the customer. The whole idea around being in business is not to promote your greatness. It's not to promote this baby that you created that, that is going to change the world. It's about why you care that this baby is going to change the world. What good can you do for that? What good can you do? And you, you use the word reciprocity. Mm-hmm. Reciprocity is is. It's a law of existence. And what you put out is what you get back. When you're putting out goodness, support, assistance, when you're when you're adding value to the world. I just want to be clear, I don't put out. <laughs> just kidding. I had oh, to. Oh boy. I had to. You went there. I, I had to do it. Hey, it's the end of the show. I thought I <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, listeners. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to delete it. <laughs> start with the customer. Start Bobby. with the start customer. With the customer. Start with the customer. Start with why. Start with the customer. Why are you in business? Because of the customer. Because these connections that we make with people. Because the the changes that we make in the lives of millions and millions of people is what it's all about. I and when it. you understand that, when you know that, when you feel that in your gut, there's no amount of floundering in your business that's going to stop you from growing because you're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. I love it. Stampede. 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 Stampede, Stampede your, your business. business. And start with a customer.